Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for allowing me to be with you tonight and for saying a few brief comments, and I will keep them brief. It's been 186 days, and people sometimes ask me, how long can the Iranian people hold out? And I tell them the story of Camp Ashraf, Camp Liberty, and Camp Ashraf III. Those people held out against all odds and against the uncertainty of whether they will live or die. And they did not give up. And today in Albania, they prove what people can become and what they will become when they are allowed to succeed in life. To the Iranian people, I congratulate you for what you are doing. You are saying no to Khamenei. You are saying no to the Pahlavi and the family of the Shah. You are saying no to oppression. You are saying no to tyranny. When I look at the history of Iran, I see no difference between the Islamic Revolutionary Guard and Savak and the Codes Force. They are all murderers, they are all butchers, and none of them can be trusted. You are fighting, the Iranian people, you are fighting for four freedoms identified by F President Franklin Roosevelt. The freedom of religion, the freedom of speech, the freedom from want, and the freedom from fear. We fought the American Revolution for those four fears, uh, correction, for those four liberties, for those four freedoms, and we succeeded. We had to unite, all 13 colonies had to unite as one to fight. Iranian people, whether you are Persians, whether you are Kurds, whether you are Arabs, or whether you are uh, Azeris, stand and fight together. Come together to, against your common enemy. The American Revolution was built on several things. One of them was the Renaissance and the Awakening. The other one was religious reformation. The Iranian people, prior to 1953, you had those, and they were taken away from you, first by the Shah, then by the Ayatollah. Do not allow either of these groups to get back into power. Take back your country, take back your liberties, and take back your dignity, and stop these people from brutalizing the future of Iran forevermore. George Washington once made a quote, and I'll repeat it, and I apply it to the Ayatollah, to show your utmost detestation and horror at any person who under any specious pretenses tries to take away the liberties of your nation. I'll close with one last quote, and that's from the great American General George Patton. He said, never stop until you reach either the top or the grave. The Iranian people will never stop, and they will reach the top, and the top of the ground they will be standing on will be the grave of the Ayatollah. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.